I've had a heck of a BS day at work today, and now I get to deal with an almost $90 TCG Player order not being shipped after four days. TCG Player is such a dumpster fire, I'm so done with it at this point. Let's dive on into it, shall we? No normal intro today, you guys. I'm pissed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, hit the dumpster fire boo-boo stand off that like and subscribe button because I am so sick of TCG Player and I'm so sick of all of these garbage sellers on this site that I don't even feel like you can take sellers with 10,000 plus orders legitimately on this website anymore. So let, let's go ahead and wind the clock back a bit to all of the crap I've been dealing with in TCG Player, even just within the past year. Um, for one thing, you can buy OCG cards, whether it's Korean, Japanese, Chinese, prints of cards on TCG Player. Now, you're probably wondering, Avery, why is this a bad thing? It's bad because you can't play OCG print cards in the TCG. So anyone that doesn't know that is paying, let's say, a dollar for SP Little Knight, thinking that they can play it, when in reality, you can't. And I'm not saying that like a bunch of people are falling into this trap, but regardless, the fact that OCG print cards can be sold on TCG Player, a site that's mostly meant for Europe and the US, baffles my mind. And you know for a fact people are getting ripped off by this. Like it's clearly happening. The other thing that's been happening recently, and I don't know if this is because eBay has recently bought out TCG Player and like just the site has gone down the crapper because of that, but. And it could also be COVID too, like after all that that happened. I don't know. But why is it that I'm receiving packages six months fucking later after I ordered the shit and got my refund? Back when Cash Tira was the best deck, and I have this video up on my channel. It's literally called my TCG player order arrived like six or seven months later, whatever it was called. I think entitled it like six months later. Because I remember I used a Beavis and Butthead thumbnail like, huh, uh, here's your package. Uh, huh. And... It was my Kashtiri Unicorn that I paid like $8 for and had already gotten a refund showed up in the mail. And I said in that video, am I going to return it back to the seller? No. I'm going to turn around and sell it because it was like $14 to $15 at that point. And I'm going to make my money because I wasn't playing Kashtira anymore at that point in time. Or it may have been like an extra or whatever it was. Because at that point, the seller had already gotten their refund through the postal service. I got my refund through TCG Player. Everybody's happy. But the fact that it showed up six months later was just so shocking and pissed me off to no end because I'm like, look, why are we going through this? Why can like every item that is shipped just be tracked and so we don't have to deal with this crap? Like I don't understand why this is suddenly happening. Now you fast forward to what I'm dealing with now. Jesus Christ, this is why I don't ever like buy expensive shit things on fucking TCG Player. I bought an Ash Blossom for like $2.98. Let's call it three fucking dollars after shipping, right? And I decided, I was like, you know what? I made almost $76, basically $76. It was $75.95 off of the playmat. It was a 2010 Yusei playmat that I won at a regional for free because my dad typed up our deck list. So we got it because we were nice. <laughs> um, but I had gotten this Yusei mat and it was selling for like $110 to $120 on TCG Player. I was trying to sell it for $150. I had seen a couple of listings for $150. Anyway, long story short, I sold it for $90. After everything was said and done, I walked away with basically $76. I said, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. I really want to play Tempai Dragon. I love this deck. It's so much fun. Let's pick up an ulti Trident Dragon. Now, Ultimate Rare Trident Dragon, you can only get out of Raging Battle. So I was like, you know what? We're going to get a near mint and i think it was even first edition it may have been unlimited whatever the case it's 81.95 so you're talking 82 dollars after shipping and taxes and whatever so this isn't like a five dollar order i'm pissed off about this is between the ash blossom and the trident dragon after taxes and shipping and everything you're talking like 90 dollars. we're almost at a 100 dollars mark here and you mean to tell me that i reach out to the seller of both the ash and the trident Neither of them respond to me. However, the dude selling me a $3 fucking Ash Blossom sends out the Ash the next day after I asked about it. Congratulations. You get a golf clap, Sugar Boo Bear. Now, the homie with the Trident Dragon just ghosts me. And this isn't like someone who has like a 70% rating on TCG Player with bad reviews. I usually like will vent 
like most, if not all of the sellers I'm buying off TCG player, I'll make sure that they have at least a decent track record. Like even if they only have like a thousand um, listing or not a thousand listings, but like a thousand confirmed sales done. If they have like a good track record, I'll take the risk, right? Like I know I'm at least going to get a refund, especially if it's not something I need like right then and there. And that's what I figured with this. Like it's not something I need right then and there. These dudes are reputable anyway. The one selling me the Ash has over 10,000 sales done. The one selling me the Trident has over 50,000 sales done. So I'm like, these people are absolutely reputable. All of their comments are like five stars, five stars, cards that came in perfect condition, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, like we're good. The dude sending me the Trident Dragon is only in New York. So like, it'll take like what a fucking week i live in florida it doesn't take that long to get shit from here to new york actually the play mat that i just sent out to somebody that bought it for 90 dollars got there in like three or four days to new york so like it's not that hard <laughs> so this dude it's basically four days at this point we're approaching midnight of the eighth i placed my order the night of the fourth it is now almost at the time you're making this video by the time you see it, the 9th of the 8th or morning of the 8th, depending on when you see this, never responded to my message, never shipped the damn card. And I'm over here like feeling like an asshole. Like, am I just like guilty? Am I cursed? Like, am I a cursed object in Jujutsu Kaisen? Like, what is going on here? Ever since COVID and I feel like too, ever since eBay bought out TCG Player, the sellers on TCG player suck ass. Like they are so terrible at this. And you might be thinking, well, Avery, like you're just being impatient, blah, blah, blah. Even TCG player, like the little AI chat bot says, give the seller four days. Once it hits four days, come back and reach out. So I'm reaching out midnight tonight because to me, I'm like, unless you're like in the hospital, like you're on a ventilator, you're going through something like, you know, take down your seller list. Like, make you can make your selling account on TCG Player offline. It'll still show your listings, but if someone tries to buy it, it'll say this seller is offline. And then you can bring it back online whenever you're ready to like start sending shit out. So why do you have it up accepting orders if you're not able to send the shit? Like, it, it boggles my mind. Again, this isn't a five dollar order. This is like ninety dollars that we're talking about here. Like granted, it's two different sellers, but you get my point. The whole order is like 90 bucks. And so I'm expecting at the very least to be having a Trident Dragon be shipped with tracking because like it's an ultimate rare that's near mint. Like uh, I, d th bro, I can't even like put words together because I'm so fucking pissed from having to work my dog shit nine to five and then having to come on to here and talk about some smooth brain who can't send a fucking card in the mail. I ask you, all of my viewers, my lovely viewers, because I know you wouldn't do this to me. I know you wouldn't do this to your friend or someone just buying your shit on eBay. How difficult is it to have a Yu-Gi-Oh card, a card fight Vanguard card, a Magic the Gathering card, put it in a sleeve, put it in a top loader, put tape on the fucking top loader, Put it in a, like, a little UPS envelope. You don't even have to, like, go to the store and get, like, one of those, like, manila envelopes that's, like, this big, like, yay long and this thick, or, like, this thick. You could just get a regular envelope for 50 cents at Walmart. <laughs> like, put the card in, put it on tracking because you know you're making a killing off of this card because it's an ultimate rare that no one's going to play except me, and send it off. And then I get the email from TCG Player, your item has been chipped. It is not that hard. Or at the very least, respond to my message because I know that these sellers get fucking emails when they get a message because I get an email on my email when I get a message on eBay. Hey, respond to the message and let me know what's going on. Hey, sorry, I'm taking a dump for three days because I'm doing a colonoscopy cleanse. I'll send your car tomorrow. Like, that's all you got to do. Although in that regard, if you are doing something like that, one, ew, two, couldn't you like hold it for 10 seconds while you go put it in your mailbox and flip the little flag up? Like, unless you have a PO box, in which case you do you, but like, hello. So I've been ranting for almost 10 minutes. Jesus Christ. TCG player is so garbage now. And I really don't want to have to go to like websites like super games Inc where they charge out the ass because it is their website. And I, I do, really don't want to do cool stuff either because cool stuff charges like a super big premium too. But at least they send their shit in like two days to a local store and then you go pick it up. 
Logic! <laughs> this is why I don't buy expensive things on TCG Player. Like, the one time I want to treat myself to a fucking ultimate rare, and I get kicked in the nuts for it. I was almost really tempted to shout out the shitty seller in this video, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get my refund. And then if they decide to ship me the card after I get my refund, I'm keeping the fucking thing. Yeah, I'm going to be petty about it because I'm pissed. <sighs> Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this rant. <laughs> I'm going to go and try and go to sleep now, even though I'm so fired up. <laughs>